Jones were there. Uh, what can I get for you? I want something light. I met you the other day at the pool. Why are you recounting where you met me and where you did not meet me? Oh. You are not a very polite man. What can I do for you? As you can see, I came here to relax and have a quiet moment. I don't need any distraction. Okay. I think you take life too seriously. And no matter what it is, I don't think it's worth it. What is wrong with you? What is it? I just told you I don't need any distraction. That I came here to have a quiet moment and you're here pestering my life. Why don't you just leave me alone? I don't need anything. Have anybody sent you? Whatever game you are up to, I am not interested. Okay, okay. You know what? I don't know what you're going through, but what, no matter what it is, you need to keep your shit together. What Please. is? That's crazy. 
it's really it's very pleasant. So what is your own story? I was dismissed from work because I showed extra care on my patients, one of my patients. So my medical director called me to his office and blamed me for overstepping my boundary. You're a doctor, I guess. Yeah, a guy now. You know that tells it why your boss was really mad at you showing extra care to the patients. And I guess this patient of yours is a woman. Is that the women? The issue with women, I don't know why they are always at the extreme. But you still have to show them care and love and respect. I know. You know. You won't understand. I am married, I have a wife. And I love my wife very much. Sorry for talking to you the way I talked to you back in there. I'm um, sorry, I shouldn't have talked to you that way. But I was really in a bad mood. I was not happy. So forgive me for being such a jerk. I'm really sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. Really? You know, um, sometimes life has so much to offer. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. But whichever one it comes with, we should just take it. And besides, it's not going to wash our dirty linen in the public. And with the rice somewhere in there. Please don't be that way again. It's okay, thank you very much. As a matter of fact, I feel better. Yeah. You know, I didn't get your name when we met at the pool. So what's your name? Chelsea. Oh, the wonderful man. So official, nice to meet you. It's Chelsea. <laughs> Thank you very much for your advice. If you are not really in a hurry, I could buy you a lunch just to apologize for being such a mouse. Really? Okay, I have a place in mind. You 
you know, every marriage has got its ups and downs. No marriage is perfect. And it takes courage and, and maturity to really deal with it. And I could tell you that 90, this is the reason why 95% of men do cheat on their wives. Really? Yes. Where did you get that fake of my I this is crazy, it's insane. Yes. Cynthia could be acting up. Cynthia could be messing up. But men, I can't see myself cheating on my wife. I can't even imagine this. It's insane. Okay, let me ask you something. Do you love your wife? Of course I do. I love her like very much. You can't even imagine the way I love my wife. Can you sacrifice your life for her? Come on, that, that's a difficult one. That's a very difficult one. I see. Well, you see, life has no duplicate. I mean, what if this pressure in your marriage or, or the pain kills you? What if you can't handle it? See Dave, I'm always here for you. Just tell me anything. Tell me what you need. Um. Anything, I'll do it for you. Please. Anything. Um. Chelsea, before you go forward, I understand where you are. But I'm sorry. Nothing can make me cheat on my wife. You are a pretty girl. I really like you. You are a pretty girl. And you seem like a nice person. You know, every man would want to have you. And most married men wouldn't mind cheating on their wives because of you. There are men there that are single that want you at all costs. Nothing in this world can make me do that. Nothing in this world can make me keep extra extra marital affairs. And, uh, I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. I just want to see someone at time. I will take care of this. I'll see you.
to have this. I don't know. So soon I don't. I don't really see how this is going to be of help. At what point are you trying to establish with them? Bro, I wish I have answers to that question. But you know, the lawyer we hired said she needs something concrete as evidence. If not, she doesn't, she doesn't stand any chance. I don't really understand. What exactly do you want to do with her? Don't you see her wasting your precious time? I don't know. I don't just know. And you can't even buy her some you can't even buy her some time as the judge will not pronounce judgment on a crime of such magnitude. Hey, don't discourage me, okay? Don't discourage me. Please, just shove your thoughts into your pockets. Okay. I've given up. I'm just trying to make you to understand. Thank you. But no thanks. Please. I want to go right now. You can always count on me. Don't get yourself into trouble. I hear you, sir. Get out. Thanks for sticking out your nose for me. I owe you one. I owe you one. Two days now. 
Look, I could leave if that's what you want. Lucy, it hasn't gotten to that, okay? I promise to make out time for you. Just give me some time. I'll probably talk to you, okay? And when would such time suffice? When? Look there. An innocent man is about to be put away for life for a crime that she did not commit, except I come up with something that will exonerate her. <laughs> and I'm all that she's got. And, 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 and listen, baby, I, 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 will, I, will, I will do everything, everything within my powers to make sure that I exonerate her and prove her innocence. Just spare me all that. Just spare me all that. I think she's as guilty as charged. If not, why would she admit to a crime she never committed? Why? Listen, court says in five days. She may not know it, but she needs sin. And I'm all that she's got. Answer me, do you? Well, uh, well, uh, uh, of course, of course, I, I do. I do care about you very much. There you go. There you go. You're not even sure. If you're so sure, why are you so jittery about it? Anyway, I don't blame you. All blame goes to me. Yes, to me. Because I gave it to you on a platter of gold, what many men crave for? Don't even start, please. Does she know? Know what? Don't give me that look. That you have feelings for her, of course. What are you talking about? If you don't have feelings for her, then why make all these sacrifices for her? Why? And I do know you're paranoid. You know that. You can say whatever you like, but just take this advice from me. No matter what happens, you need to tell her the feelings you have for her. You need to tell her how much you care about her. And by the way, it's been a pleasure knowing you. Thanks for wasting my time! See that somebody is still playing around. And someone just found a new job. Crazy boy. Ijoma! Ijoma! Sir? Mm. Hey, Uncle John, welcome, sir. How are you? I'm fine, fine. And prepare something for him to eat. You know he likes food. No problem, sir. Thank you. in the funniest kind of way. How do you mean? I paid the ultimate price of saying no to my boss. Saying no to what? Why are you emphasizing on that? Was I supposed to say yes? Do you realize the opportunity you just blew away? Look at this boy, will you shut up? Do you know you are talking to a married man here? What has marriage got to do with Having extracurricular activities added to your schedules. Look at your mouth. Extracurricular activity. You are not married, you don't do anything. 
It's when you get married that you will understand what it means to be very faithful to my wife, to your wife. I love my wife and I can never cheat on my wife. It's not possible. Well, you can say whatever you like, but admit it, bro. You, you, you made a very big mistake. You just threw away a lifetime opportunity. You, see, you know, Jew, I've always advised you to start taking life very serious. That is the only time you can be responsible. Please go and freshen up. Let me go back to my job hunt. I hear you, Mr. Responsible. Enjoy your long time. When I go in there, I'll make peace with my stomach. That's all you know how to do. Eat and chase women. <laughs> Madam did not inform me that I has any appointment with Dr. Charles. Uh, okay, why don't you just go in and you know, verify from her? Uh, yes. Okay, you know what? Um, you are welcome actually, but um, try and make yourself comfortable. Uh, okay, all right. All right. Something else you know that can help us save your mother. Was there any other witness there? What's here? I'm sorry, but I have to go now. I don't have anything to say to you. But with this, you can find all the answers you seek. Look for the person in this address with this name. Hmm? I'll leave now. Okay, ma. That's the man. Hey, young man, stop there. Stop there! Okay. Stop there! Like this, like cats and dogs on the roof. 
What do you expect me to do, John? What do you expect me to do? Sit the baby down and talk some sense into her. Like I've not done that before. Then, just like the popular Bible has, the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent take it in by force. If she refuses to listen, then go violent. What are you talking about, John? Are you actually saying I should hit my wife? I can't even hit a woman not to talk of my own wife. That is impossible. I can't do You know me now. Are you going to be the only man or the first man to ever hit a woman? And does hitting her as a means of correction change her from being your wife? See, John, you are getting it all wrong. You are saying marriage as if marriage is some kind of union between a master and a slave. No! That she is my wife doesn't mean I should portray myself or that I should, she should start seeing me as a demigod before her. No, it is wrong. Come on. Yes, please, the marriage has I don't care what you say, John. After all, you are not married. What do you know about marriage? Yes, Cynthia might be acting up today, but I know someday she would come around. You are here put losing into the affairs of my marriage instead of you to concentrate on getting married to the woman that you love. Because when you marry the woman that you love, you won't even think of touching her, not to talk of hitting her. You will learn how not to exhaust your patient in stormy days. Yeah. I hear you, sir. I am heading to the gym. Do you want to really get to join me? Who wants to teach you how to get those six bags? If that be. Those six Come on, little boy. Oh, God. So, tell me, how do you do that? You are out of job and you act as if you're not in job. How do you really handle it? You wouldn't know. You know, we all have our, our problems, our short problems that we carry. But it's only those who wear a cloak over the heads that actually move about as if nothing is wrong. Yes, you are right there. Because we all we have our problems and you don't need to wash your dirty mind and problem. But we try to conceal it as much as you can and uh, laugh over it. You know, uh, as a speak right now, one of my clients, the woman for whom I was interested, is actually rotting away in the police detention facility for a crime I know she did not commit. What crime could that be? She was arrested for the murder of her husband because she confessed to doing it. But knowing their history, I know, I'm very sure she did not do it. Hold on. She... Hold on, she actually murdered the husband? No. She confessed that she did it, but she didn't do it. So how come she claimed she did it? What that type of a wife does that? And how do you even, how did you get mixed up in all this? Yeah, to the extent that you were suspended from in the office? My medical director lent me for getting myself involved. Yeah, I'm married. So, I had to go and call it. Oh. Oh. Sorry, I'm going to take this call. Hello, Mr. Sobonda. How are you? Yeah, good afternoon. What? So, Against my advice, you went ahead and did another abortion? Wait, can I call you Cynthia? Thank you. Now listen to me, listen to me. I told you this, I've made my stand clear on this. I will not be a party to any abortion of any kind. I told you that, didn't I? 
Listen to me. I don't care what your husband thinks about it. That you've done it over a dozen times doesn't make it right. Cynthia, Cynthia, listen to me. Listen to me. Listen. Do you know what you are doing to yourself? Why don't you talk things over with your husband? If you know you are not ready to be parents yet, why don't your husband use protective measures? Okay, okay, see, I will, I will send you a text right now. The descriptions of drugs and that will not normalize the system. Alright, just have it. Sorry, you have to go, but not just allow me. I I thought I I Let me let me find out why. I have lots on my mind. You know, I'm a workaholic. I work a lot. I'm not really used to hanging out during work. I'm of the need to I'll tell you. It looks like you're one of the good doctors around, considering your opinion about abortion. Because it's really bad. Isn't it ridiculous? How married women get pregnant? Only to end up aborting in my innocent babies. All in the name of, I'm not ready to be a mother yet. This is crazy. It is crazy. It's insane. I don't believe a married woman can actually go and abort a baby. Why would she, would she do that? Isn't kids, children, are they not the reason, the priority for marriage? Is the major reason why people go into ma marriage. <laughs> and okay, see, the twist here is that the woman I just dropped her call said her husband was actually the one that compelled her, that insisted that she abort the baby. The last one that she aborted a week ago. And you know, the pregnancy was actually two months old. <laughs> man would support the wife to abort the baby to the extent of doing numerous abortions? We live in a crazy world. Very crazy world. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen,
Give me your urine. I said, take this and give me your urine. What nonsense are you talking about? Cynthia, don't make this difficult for me. Just take this, go in there and get me your urine. Dave, what is wrong with you? You're scaring me. Stop it. What is it? Hold on. You think this is a joke? Please 
take your drugs so you'll be fine. Oh, you don't want to go and drop it. Don't worry, I'll call you when I need it. Okay. Can I just make you something to eat? And so you'll be strong. Since morning, you've not eaten anything. I am not hungry. See, if I ever get hungry, I'll call you. Just go. Go on. Okay. If I decide that it's not yet time to get pregnant, so be it. Are you serious? Isn't marriage supposed to be a union between a man and a woman? No. I think it should be a union between a bully and his prey. Listen, I don't want you to look at it that way. I'm sorry he hates you, but Dave loves you. Uh huh. Uh-huh. That's how you prove your love to a woman with love. By hitting her. And <laughs> let me tell you something. Is it that day when the brother of yours? I swear. I will make him pay his every last coin for this pain he's inflicted on me. It's a promise. I will definitely fulfill it. Have you ever wondered why your mom and dad have not been here in a while? It is because of you. Dave has issues with them because of you. I want you to know that Dave is a good man and he truly loves you. Who cares? Can everyone just leave me the hell alone? Sorry, 
I still have to fill this space. Oh yeah, yeah, it will help me work and um, don't forget to include his full name, um, current contact address and cell number. Okay.
faster than the journey. Dave, don't say that. I wouldn't be here if, if, I, if I didn't think you had a side to your own story. I, I wouldn't be here. So Dave, help me to help you. Tell me exactly what happened.
please, I'm, I'm looking for one Miss Gloria. Gloria? Yes, she's, she's average height, dark yeah. in complexion. Yeah. I think it should be the next company. Just. Okay, that next company? Yeah, just the next company. This one? Here. Yeah, once they get there, ask of Gloria. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're welcome. All right. Hello, ma. Excuse me, ma. Please, I, I was directed to this place as a Ilo family residence. And I'm looking for Gloria Ilo. And who are you? Oh. I'm so sorry, forgive my manners. I'm Andrew. I'm a doctor from the city. What do you want with Gloria? There is something I need to discuss with her very urgently. There's nobody as Gloria here. Please, ma. Please. The issue at stake right now is a matter of life and death. And Gloria is the only person who can salvage the situation right now. Gloria! It's okay. What do you want? You know what I want. And you know where I am. And you know you are the only one that can salvage the situation right now. How can I be of help? Please, follow me to the city. Okay, I will follow you to the city. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm so grateful. Okay, I, I'll, I'll wait outside so that you can just change over. Joshua Okoye. Yes, I did. My lord, I have no more questions now. Defense counsel. Yes, I have. But you 
looks like you have lost a lot of weight. Oh, check sure, my lord. I think those questions are irrelevant. Objection of a rule. Woman, go ahead and answer the questions. And defense counsel, I hope you're not wasting our time. I am not, my lord. I am only trying to establish the fact today. It has come to my notice that Mrs. Sokoi here was a victim of domestic violence. But I also have another witness I would like to present before this And uh, who is this witness? The witness is Miss Ilo. Are you a Christian or Muslim? Christian. Hold this Bible on your right hand. Place your right hand on your chest. Say after me. I saw this way. I saw this way. But that evidence uh, I'm going to give you this honor report. But the evidence I'm going to give you. My beauty is hot truth. My beauty is hot truth. I'm not in the truth. I'm so happy. So happy. Come proceed. Thank you. Over here, young lady. How old are you? I'm 23 years old. Do you know that woman over there? Yes, I do. How are you two related? I'm a household. Where were you on the 14th day of August 2016? I was outside doing running for my master. Can you give this honorable court an account of the incident which occurred in that fruitful for day? Remember, the truth, the whole truth, and the whole truth. I, my master, came, came, it's okay, just calm down, miss, calm down. You are in safe hands, you have nothing to worry about, okay? Now just calm down and give us your account. It all started that day. When my master came back, I had no idea where he was coming from. He often stayed late at night.
big one. Why? Why didn't you marry me? Why I marry you? So did you manage Was was I disabled when you met me? Was I? Of course. Every bit of you is disabled. Every fucking bit of you. I don't I don't. I went against my family. Gave up my job. Left my friends just to be with you. This is how you choose to pay me. Why? I was too I tell you a secret. diagnosis of the abuser isn't the issue. Your sense of entitlement is. So I say this. When you think you can endure the first blow, your body might not be ready to endure the second or the third. So report domestic violence before it becomes murder. My lord, I have no further questions for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, this is my judgment. In the light of a new development, Ms. Gloria is to be remanded in prison custody and will be tried for the murder of Mr. Joshua Okoye, Mrs. Mary Okoye, for the charge of murder 
in the first degree of Mr. Joshua Okoye. This court finds you not guilty. Yes. Court! See, life is just like that. Uh, sometimes you think it is this way, you now find out it is the other way around. Eh? Yes. But not to worry, mm -hmm. everything will be alright. Sure, sure. For sure. Will be all right. It's alright. Right. So, how's the family? Oh, fine, fine, very fine. How's the Seems like someone still knows how to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> At least you made it so. Thank you very much. Thank you. I am so grateful. And thank you for not giving up. Shut your heads. have a minute with you outside. Yeah? Um, briefly though, I hope you won't mind. Well, I'm sorry for everything. All the same, your job is still yours. Hmm? Hope to see you in the office next week Monday. Thanks. to me today like a preacher. Miss Cynthia. Then help me to understand you better. I thought you were supposed to be professional about your job. Oh, are you now a marriage counselor? Miss Cynthia, listen. No, you listen to me. I hired you to pursue a divorce against my husband and not to meddle in our marriage. Tell me, if it's too much of a job for you, I will just go out there and hire a more competent lawyer. I am trying to be as professional as I can here. It's not like I don't understand how you feel. I totally do. 
But the thing is, Dave might not be worth millions today, but trust me, if you walk out of this marriage, it will be the biggest mistake of your life. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And from which part of the world, may I ask, did you ever draw this conclusion that if I walk out, it will be the biggest mistake of my life, miss? I was once there. Dave and I used to be in love. Dave is a good man. He is not the monster you have painted in your head. I have been single for so long and I would be able to tell you that Dave is not the kind of man you would confide in. If I think back on my life and if I perused my life so far, I realize that while following my parents' wishes instead of my heart, that I have lost out in my only shot at true love. The kind of true love that I would have had with Dave. But listen to you today, you still have that the, the, the choice. You still have an option to make a better choice today. So Miss Cynthia, now I want you to check within yourself and to be honest that if the reason you want this divorce is justifiable by your conscience, then give me a call first thing tomorrow when you are getting what you want. Now this is it. This right here is the height of insult. Who the hell do you think you are to tell me what I will or will not regret? And how do you even think of comparing yourself to me? No, I get it. You still have that little soft spot for him. Yes, darling. It's very fine. It is okay. Just give me what I want. And you can march straight down to hell with them for all that I can! Madam, is there a problem? You sure?
Why? There's nothing wrong with it. I don't like it. Why? What is it? It makes me feel... Oh, more stuff. I don't just, like just, it. Just. This city doesn't do anything. This is big stuff. Look, it will do some good. No!
How did I get here? a very good man. You know, back then in school, Dave loved me even though I was a carrier of the sickle cell threat. Follow your heart. You're very lucky, Cynthia. Follow your heart and I promise you, you will not regret it.
I was too young for motherhood. So the thought of getting pregnant gave me phobia. I wasn't too in love with my job like I made you believe. It was just a getaway for me. I I was arrogant and all that. But in all, all the attitude, there was nothing to them. I was never in love with another. I, I didn't see any other person. I was never faithful. <laughs>
I know I've been a jerk on this far. I've not always been there for you, yet you still manage to cling on to this little thread called faith. It's not like I'm making a confession or something. I say he has not even for me. Man, then come to the main point. Go on, brother. I got your back. I just feel like this is the right moment to do this. Sweetheart, will you be my Juliet? My queen, my best friend. Most of all, the mother of my children. Yes. That is what I'm talking about. Oh, I'm so wow. <laughs> Joma. Sam. Wow. Um. Come on. Come here, come here, Joma. Bring it. Bring it. This calls for celebration. Because we've been waiting for it. Of course. It took ages. Come here. So this doesn't hurt at all. Okay. This toast is for us. Happiness, peace, prosperity, and more kids. Hmm? And <laughs> Okay. Oh, sorry. 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 Sor